morning everybody. So today is gonna be our last day here in El Nido for a while anyway. Tomorrow we're gonna be heading to Puerto Princesa to do some visa stuff, renew our visas. And also I think after that we're gonna go on a bit of a road trip and stay in other places like San Vicente. Some of you have mentioned for us to stay there, we've never been there. So yeah, we're gonna be doing a bit of a road trip. I think we're gonna leave El Nido for a few weeks, maybe two to three weeks, we don't really know. And we haven't filmed at all over the last two weeks because it's just been really bad weather, very cloudy, raining a lot. But luckily on our last day here, it's kind of sunny right now. Still cloudy, but sunny. So we thought we'd spend our last moments here in the pool. We haven't been in this pool for, for ages. And we haven't had breakfast yet. So we're just trying to finish up some of the food that we got. Got this pineapple here. I think Carol's gonna cut it now. We have two eggs, we gotta, we gotta eat them and also the, the rest of the bread that we had. Yeah, we're just gonna do some weird mix, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I think in here we also have some uh, shredded coconut. Do you wanna do something with that? Yeah, I think I'm gonna do some Brazilian uh, dessert. Dessert? Yeah. Okay, gonna do that now? Yeah, after the, the, the eggs. After the eggs, okay. We'll see how the... Brazilian dessert is. So Chris is cutting the pineapple and I'm gonna prepare the Brazilian dessert. It's very simple, very, very simple. Just need condensed milk, butter and uh, shredded coconut. I'm gonna use this small one because uh, we're leaving tomorrow so I don't wanna make a lot of dessert. And yeah, just start here, mix everything here, boil and it's gonna be ready So. going to now have our sweet breakfast. This is what Carol cooked. I think that took you less than like 10 minutes, right? Yeah, Probably yeah. like five minutes. It was very easy to prepare. What's it called anyway? You didn't uh, say the name. Beijing de coco. Beijing de coco. Like coconut kiss. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, in Brazil we usually make like little balls with this and put uh, sugar on top or coconut on top, but now we're just gonna eat like this. <laughs> yeah, it looks gooey. So all that is is just condensed milk and the uh, coconut, and shredded butter. and butter. Okay. Very good. Good. Try. Oh, for me. Oh yeah, that's delicious. Yeah, so easy as well, right? Mm-hmm. Easy mm. and quick. The pineapples there. Uh, Amazing as well. In the Philippines, I think all the fruit is super tasty. Yeah. Like Brazil. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. Lots of flavor. Organic food. Yep. All right, time to get into this pool. <laughs> oh yeah, it's nice and cool as well. <laughs> it's a little bit cold. <laughs> Yeah, it's nice, right? Yeah. Cooler than it used to be. It's very sunny and hot today, but it's a perfect temperature. Yep. So it's gonna be kind of weird leaving this place, right? Yeah. After so long, how long's it been? More than two months, I think. In this resort, yeah. In this resort, yeah. El Nido's been five months. Yeah, five months, I think. So obviously we've been really fortunate to stay in such a beautiful place, this resort. Um, in the previous videos, we did mention it's only around 13, 14 dollars a day, which is obviously super cheap because of the the current circumstances, right? I think normally it's over 100 here, right? Yeah, so obviously I've been really lucky to be able to stay here and have this view every single day. It's just been amazing. And we just want to thank the owners as well for giving us this deal. I know some people thought that they gave us the deal because we're uh, YouTubers, right? 
but he actually gave the same price to all the guests here, so nothing to do with us creating videos or anything. He just gave a good price for everybody that's kind of uh, stranded here. And yeah, obviously we've loved it, right? Because we've, we've been here so long. Longest place we've ever stayed. Yeah. Yeah, on our travels, we've never stayed anywhere longer yeah, than... Since the beginning, we, we were always staying for two or three, four nights. And now we're just uh, staying here for over two months. Yeah, yeah. Usually it's only a few days in places like this, but yeah, two months in this resort is insane, really. So definitely gonna miss this view, though. This has been just amazing to look at every single day. And I think just the views helped with the overall mood, right? Yeah, yeah. and we also created like a routine. We were working out every day and we were cooking in the kitchen here. So I think it helped us to be more po positive about everything. What's it called again? Do you, do you want to hold him? Can I? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Let me just wait. What is it called? Minor bird. Minor bird. Mm -hmm. Like, hooks on real quick. Wait. So it fell out of a tree? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> but it can fly? Yeah, it can fly for short distances. <laughs> Jake, show him how it feeds. He's falling asleep. Hey. No more food. <laughs> hey. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> so we're just gonna head into town now, do some errands. We gotta get some money from the bank to help pay for the, the visa that we're not sure how much is gonna be. And then I think we're gonna get a bite to eat at a new spot that we've been going to. So I'll show you that as well. Yeah. is the bank BPI bank this is the one we always come to now all good yes so I didn't mention but this bank here you can get how much is it 20,000 20, per, per day and for months we didn't know, so we always went to the other ATMs, which was yeah, 10,000. 10, so we, every time we get the money, we have to pay $5 of fees. So if we can get more, it's better because we get less fees. Yeah, if you want to get the max amount of money from an ATM and you're a foreigner, this is the place to go. 20,000, not 10,000 like everywhere else. Thank you. McDonald's. So we ended up coming to McDonald's because the place we wanted to go to uh, run out of food. So yeah, we haven't come here that often. It's been a while. Nobody can sit here right next to me. So even if you're together, they still tell you. And then you can see on the ground where people got to stand. And then we also had to fill in that form back there. 
and this is right at uh, Vanilla Beach where we've been to before. So I got the two-piece fish and fries here and I also got a coffee float, really tasty. And Carol just got the one-piece, right? With a regular Coke. Yep. yep. And that was 506 pesos, so that's for everything for both of us. So we're just going to walk to Vanilla Beach or Las Cabanas Beach quickly since we've come here. We weren't planning on coming to this beach and I don't think I've ever shown you this part here. So right now they're building all these stores. So this is part of the Vanilla Beach thing. You have McDonald's there and yeah loads of different stores. I'm not even sure what all these shops are going to be but loads of different shops and then yeah, at the end of this walkway is the main beach. See, we've got some diving stuff here as well. Loads of diving schools around El Nido. And yeah, I think a lot of them don't even have um, business yet. How many stores do you think there are? It seems to be loads. Uh, loads well, they're numbered. <laughs> they're numbered, so yeah. yeah, you can already see we're at 34 here, 37 back there. Yeah, there must be over 50 loads, so. Probably if you come here next year, this will just be packed with loads of stores and people hanging out. Hello, sir. Here we go, Vanilla Beach once again. Oh, it's pretty cool with the low tide, right? Yeah, and there's some waves. Yeah. It's always been pretty much high tide, so it was like a thin beach, but now, yeah, you got a huge beach. Some cool waves. Nice. We haven't been here in ages, right? Yeah. So this bar is the one that we got stuck in that time, right? Yeah, the first day when the lockdown was uh, kind of relaxed and we could go to the beach. We came here and just... Stayed. Rainstorm. Yeah, we stayed here. Yeah, so we stayed there. So you probably noticed on this beach, like, it's been heavily constructed and developed here. So look at this resort here. Looks insane. I think it's part of this one here, the fancy one. It is probably the nicest beach though near El Nido town. The closest one anyway also an awesome sunset spot because the sun goes down here so yeah it is very popular apparently Now I'm just heading to the bottom of our resort. Some of you might remember the jungle gym that's at the bottom, the homemade one. So I'm gonna get the last workout in. I don't know when I'll be able to work out again. Hopefully it won't be too long, but yeah, I gotta make the most of the gym here while I'm still here. So this is the return of the jungle gym. Nothing's changed. I'm just gonna do pull-ups until I can't do any more. But it's way greener now because it's in the rain season. When, when I showed this place last time, this was all dirt pretty much. So pretty cool. And yeah, just like last time, you have the bar there for like bicep curls and a little sit up bench over there. So let's get on with it. All right, I'm not sure how that angle is. I've got nowhere to put the camera. <laughs>
All right, super tired and super hot. So I did 50 pull-ups, which is like this with your hands like this. And now that I can't really do any more, I'm gonna do chin-ups, which is with your hands like this. Probably won't be able to do a lot, but I can do more of these. Uh, they're easier to do than pull-ups. All right, I'm done. So I did 20 chin-ups. So that means uh, 70 overall, 50 pull-ups and 20 chin-ups. That's a personal best. Usually each time I come to this bar, I try and beat the, the number that I did the last time out here. So yeah, that's what I've been doing. And I think if there's been one positive of this whole COVID thing, it's been just health and fitness. We've been eating great, like fruit, vegetables, um, all organic food. And we've been working out more than ever. I've never been working out this much. So yeah, for two months, I just come to these bars like three, four times a week and just working out all the time. <laughs> so I hope I can continue that. Usually when we're traveling, I'm so tired of just traveling and doing hikes and stuff that um, yeah, I don't work out that much and Carol as well. So. Yeah, it's something that I would like to continue after making all this progress anyway. Check it out, we got the little chickens here. <laughs> Never seen them this close before. Guys, so look who came to visit us. I don't think we show him that much on our videos. I think mainly on Instagram because he he shows up some random time. Usually at night he shows yeah, up. Nice. Like today. Yeah, like today. <laughs> yeah, so it's probably around like 10 p.m. right now. Look at him. He always comes for some food, and peanut, some belly rubs. Yeah, he loves his belly rubs. Watch when I stop. <laughs> he starts <laughs> complaining. Mm, so <laughs> Never cute. He is a big cutie. Yeah. You're gonna miss him a lot. <laughs> yeah, look. <laughs> Can't stop though. But he starts complaining. Carol, <laughs> come here, Carol. <laughs> yeah, so Peanut, he's a bit of a nomad, right? He comes here for like three, four days and then we don't see him. Yeah, and he goes back to, I don't know where, maybe he has a, ra a house or other, in an other location, we don't know. <laughs> yeah, we think he has an owner because he's pretty well fed. Can see, you can't really see his ribs or anything. And uh, yeah, he goes somewhere for four or five days. Where do you go? <laughs> Tell us where you go. Maybe he has a girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. But when he turns up here, the owners of RC Villas also feed him some stuff. Yeah, we know he's gonna be fine. <laughs> So Peanut's gonna get the sardine can special <laughs> on his last night. Yeah. And he knows it, look at him already. Waggly tail. <laughs> He's super happy already. He's anxious. Yeah. Wait, Peanut. <laughs> <laughs> What's he doing? Two cans. Yeah, two cans. Who's Mr. Special today?
Okay, here. Here's the food. So we're gonna close out the video here with Peanut. We're just finishing packing right now for tomorrow. We gotta wake up early. And then, yeah, pretty much in the morning, I think we're gonna start the video and show us going to Puerto, show us doing the visa stuff, and visiting places on our road trip wherever we go. Obviously depends on the weather, because we're in the rain, rain season, but hopefully we can still explore uh, a lot of places. I hope so anyway. So if you like this video, just drop a like as always. Subscribe if you like to see more videos like this. Follow us on Instagram, and we'll see you in the next one.